goodbye to this place. Saying goodbye. Spent two nights here. Met some new friends. And the guys here, they treated me so well. Treated us so well. When it was time to eat, they would always come to me. You want more? You want more? Every single time. You want more? Like, I would get some more. And then they would ask me, do you want more? So that's pretty cool. That was amazing. Um, they're really lovely to us as well. Had an amazing time here. When on my way up here before coming here, people told me, oh, it's going to be worth it, it's going to be worth it. I was, I was dubious of that. But when I got up here, because I thought, well, just seven hour trek with a 20 kg backpack for what to see some hills. Then when I got up here, it was so much more than the hills, it was everything. It's worth the clean air, the clean water, the food. The, um, the stars, the sunsets and the sunrises and and the hills, everything, it really was worth it. Now making my way back down to Kohima. Okay, so on the way up, <coughs> we took the route to Viesma. I think that's how you pronounce it. And now on the way down, we're gonna take the alternative route to Giacomo. <coughs> Giacomo on the way down should be a lot faster. I think it won't, won't take longer than two hours. We'll see. What happened? There's a caterpillar. They must turn into big butterflies, no? So to the beginning of the, the track, Giacomo track, from the place we were staying, it's two and a half kilometers roughly. And it's mostly coming up to this point. Now it's just going down. So, in my opinion, the other track is aesthetically more pleasing. If you take the Jeep to the trekking, to the starting point of the trekking, it's only one hour up and then two hours flat through the valleys. And it's so, it's so much more pleasing. Whereas this one is just a hard steep straight up for hours. And there's not, the view isn't as great as, as on the other track. So going up through Viesma and coming down through Chacama is probably the best choice. There's no effort at all in coming down through here. Whereas going up, I'm sure this, this will be so hard. So we are now at the bottom, just another kilometer to go. And that is 10 kilometers altogether, give or take. Uh, the Jakama track is a mean track. If you're gonna do it, I mean, I would only do it if I was training for an Ironman or something. But otherwise, if you're looking for a pleasant track to a pleasant location, then I will take the other one. This one is just mean and it's good to calm down, but not to go up. We left at 8.15 and it is now 10.55. We stopped a lot of times because, you know, the group only moves as, as fast as the slowest number. We have to wait for everyone. You can usually do the track in less than two hours, coming down of course. So I would recommend not doing this track alone or without a guide, but at least not alone. We just walk in the wrong direction for a long while, and then someone told us we were going the wrong way, and luckily he's been here already, he came, he came through here on the way up. 
like after the bridge it makes a weird turn and you wouldn't know otherwise like if I was by myself I wouldn't know to take that turn or I don't know if I would even take that turn yeah, maybe. Vegetables, be careful. Yeah. Man, be careful. Don't step on the vegetables. Okay, okay. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. I've been traveling for hours. It's 11 o'clock. We started traveling at 
and we haven't covered any ground. We got a puncture on a bus, and now we've just stopped so they could get something to eat. So 11 o'clock, no movement yet. Also, while we stopped, the police saw me and they took me in and to, to do a check, and I had to get a permit to get into Manipur and the passport stamp as well. So the broke the bus broke down again and it looks like we're gonna we're stuck here. We'll see. So, the bus broke down. The bus broke down, it wasn't gonna move, it wasn't gonna go anywhere. So we Do you know what this means? We hitched the ride. So From here, the road will be very good. Very good. Yeah. So that car we were on, if there was lots of them, there was like 20 cars. And they were all brand new cars. They can't take travelers. And so they asked us to get off. And now we're in the middle of the road, in the middle of nowhere. And yeah. Waiting for another ride, as you can see, there's not many cars coming through here. We'll see. I think we're still like 70 kilometers away. 74. 74 kilometers away. But in these roads, 70 kilometers is a long way. Since we started walking, not a single car has gone in that direction. And the thing with this area is that it gets dark pretty quick. About 4:30, the sun already sets. So, yeah, as you can see, it's still no car. People didn't take us very long. <clears throat> now they're only traveling at night time. They asked us away if we wanted to. But we're gonna keep going, trying to get another ride. So that, that was the truck that they took us in. We're still a little bit, a little bit far away. They're gonna take a two-hour break. Well, I said I'm just gonna keep going. Look where I am. Check out where I am. Yeah, and from here, you know, not that far. So I'm just gonna get another ride rather than wait for two hours. Cool. Mm -hmm. 
We have arrived, it's 5.30, we've been travelling since 7.30. Long way, long time. <laughs> but we're here now, we've still got to work for another 20 minutes to the hostel. So we're going to check in and then I'm going to go get some food. There's a few vegetarian restaurants here, I'm going to check them out. And there's cows everywhere again. I haven't seen cows for a long time. So after checking in at the hostel, I came to a vegetarian restaurant, get some food. It's just some plain rice with plain dal. So I just got myself some dragon fruit and some passion fruit for dessert. I'm gonna enjoy that now and then chill. I'm, I put myself into a youth hostel and the place closes at eight, so you have to be in there before eight. Otherwise they shut the doors and you're left out, left outside. So this is the hostel I booked myself into. This is my bed, right here, that's my bed, yeah, it's 1.50 for the night here.